you can control movement for dynamic lighting. So this is where we're getting into the dynamic lighting piece now. This is, you can have barriers for your dynamic lighting that says, you know what, I want them, I want the dynamic barriers to restrict movement. Currently it's off. If you don't want them being able to walk through walls, you turn that on. Uh, you can use fog of war. I never do, some people like it. Uh, they do have the capability of using both dynamic lighting and fog of war, which puts you into like explorer mode so that it's kind of like your old uh, Diablo or uh, Warcraft style games where as you explore, you uncover the map and then it goes kind of gray uh, to show that you've explored that area, but you can't really see it anymore because you're out of range. Um, so you can, you can do stuff like that. You can also darken your opacity or lighten your opacity as the GM so that it's easier for you to work with. And you can also select any audio that you want to play automatically when the page loads. So if you were doing a battle map, you could have your battle music um, automatically start playing. That is all controlled over in your jukebox, but you'd be able to select um, what you want, want it to play. Right now, I don't have any songs loaded. Um, under the dynamic lighting tab, you can get some more information going. You can say, yes, I want dynamic lighting to be turned on. I want to use Explorer mode. I want to use daylight mode. Daylight mode lightens the entire map. Um, you can still have dynamic lighting. So like if you had walls on this map, the entire map is lit up. So you don't have to worry about light sources, but they still could not see through walls, um, what's on the other side of a wall, etc. You can choose to update when the token drops. Th that means like as people are moving their tokens around, rather than the lighting dynamically opening up and closing behind, uh, the lighting stays the same until you drop that token on the next square, and then the vantage point of their dynamic lighting changes at that time. Uh, that's a useful feature for people who have um, less powerful machines because it takes less memory and uh, resources when you're updating on drop instead. So just be aware of that. And again, you still have the, the GM darkness opacity available here. Some of the advanced or legacy settings these are things you probably don't need much anymore because they are moving away from the legacy. I would recommend leaving it uh, turned off for right now because that is being phased out. And I I'd recommend that you just leave it off because when it phases out, you you're going to lose it anyway. So um, these new features are, are functional and they're working really well right now. So we have set up our map dimensions. We can go ahead and save our settings. And now if I click onto this, map, you'll see that my color is uh, black like I selected. I can switch to the map background and then come over here and let's uh, let's go with this one here. So we just drag that over, then I drop that right there on the map. And now if I go to my objects and tokens, you'll see that I can't move that around. I can drag out uh, my bar gas because I'm going to have a bar gas in this room. Uh, or in this cave entrance. And then when your players come in, um, to, to show you how this can help you set things up, we bring him in and you'll see that he's got a little light glow around him. That means he has vision. The way you wanna make sure of that is if you click on the cog for the token, you can go to your dynamic lighting. You'll see that vision is turned on. I also have night vision turned on, but let's say we're gonna turn that off because he's just human. Um, and the token is going to emit bright light and it's gonna do a radius of five feet. Then what does that mean? What, what does this, this character see when they come into this room? If you hit uh, on the Mac, it's Command L, I believe on Windows, I think it's Control L, but doing that will show you what that token actually can see as they explore this area. Um, you'll see that we've got dynamic lighting set up on this map already. Actually, I take that back. I do not have dynamic lighting set up on it, but uh, the way that would work is escape to get out of that. If you change your layer to the dynamic lighting layer, then we just draw. And I usually use the polygon line. Uh, you can change the color of your walls. These are not, this color is not gonna be visible by your players. It's only going to be visible by you. I typically use brighter colors so that it stands out. And one trick would be to use two different colors for 
things like walls versus doors. Um, if you had other objects, you might have a different color for, for other objects that are blocking light as well. Uh, the reason I like to use different colors for the walls and doors is it makes it easier to find the door and just move the door when the characters need to go through it. Um, but this is a cave, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and select red. And this here will indicate the thickness of the line. So if I want a thin line, I just do this. And then you just click and drag, click and point wherever you want your wall to be. And then I like to escape to make sure that I'm not uh, still drawing. And then I could do the same thing going around the walls. So we'll just, uh, just to kind of show you what this, what I'm talking about here. If you come down and we'll stop the wall right here. And now let's go back to our character. If I do the command L for him again, you'll see that if I come up here, I can see all that stuff there. But if I come down, I can no longer go past that area where the wall is. But I can explore uh, a little bit, and there you'll see that the wall is no longer there for that one. If I come up here, you'll see that, again, I can't see around that. To really make this stand out, let's go ahead and increase the token's vision. Um, let's say that the, the light goes for 15 feet instead of just five. You'll see that I can see my walls a lot more clearly this way. Um, oh, there's a bar ghast. Um, but that's, that's dynamic lighting.